to see so many strong women gathered here, I just feel a lot of joy because you know you're going to pay forward and you're going to multiply this uh, effect if firms like us funded 5, 10 women uh, in a year and you take next 10 years, right? So the numbers add up. So we have to do more and that was sort of the thought process. When Vani called me, it was really the first time I'd heard of something like this in India where especially from an investment perspective, there is an impact focus that somebody is willing to invest behind women entrepreneurs. And that to me was very um, inspiring. I turned 50 and I found it very liberating, but I wish I had known this 10, 15 years ago because our whole life, uh, we are uh, seeking validation um, and that is the struggle uh, that we face. And um, I'm, I'm feeling very free and liberated and uh, please don't wait till 50 to get that feeling. We as women, I think we hesitate a lot and maybe we should not and we should just stop that. But I think the second we take accountability and say that, hey, you know what, this is in my hands and I can change this as I please and as I want. I just need to put my mind to it. Um, I think we can bring about a massive change. Don't wait for Women's Day. Do not wait for people to celebrate you. People will celebrate you when you come with knowledge, when you come with confidence. You have to be equal to a man, if not better. And I think women have that capability. Uh, there is so much to learn constantly. So, you know, never forget the art of listening. Uh, because you always pick up something to learn from the ecosystem. And sometimes when you have problems, the answers are there. Best advice that I've had is, spend two-thirds of your time or maybe even 75% of your time listening and 25% of your time talking.